evening guys under a promise to show us all meant to show it yesterday and got a little bit of time tonight a few of her well they're not quite her sisters although this is branded as a or marketed as a dolmar some of you will recognize the shape of this saw and they're a really famous little engine as well and really spectacular performers as well if you if you have a nice nice condition one so this is the dolmar 101 hobby aka the beard poulan which is the beard poulan micro xxv so give or take two cubic inches and so some literature record these as 32 cc's some you'll look and then they'll show what looks like an identical model and it will be 33 cc's and depending how they rang the number technically they'll both be right because two cubic inches is uh, what is that it's 32.7 cc's so some people round up to 33 some people round down to 32 and seems strange looking at it though which is why I bought this one in the in the Dolmar enameled orange they're all mag alloy construction even though this sometimes on the smaller saws can look a bit plasticky but all mag alloy beautifully built saw and so running a 12 inch genuine Dolmar bar with those very very you can see where they have been stamped and riveted the bars excellent quality bars Dolmar bars 3 8 low profile 12 inch use a pressurized oil system has the correct knuckle guard in and yeah the name is interesting as well Poulan or Beard Poulan and Poulan have a really interesting history very uh, checkered history as well so they started life with Claude Poulan in Shreveport, Louisiana. So Poulan date back to 1946. And interestingly, the later Poulan saws from 84. Poulan is then a is a brand of Husqvarna, can you believe? So even though you know this company started in Shreveport, Louisiana, in America, the USA, in 1946, through the various acquisitions of the Letrolux, who bought so many companies. Um, so, started off as Poulan. About 15 years later, another company in Shreveport bought them. You might see them advertised sometimes as Beard, B-E-A-I-R-D, Beard Poulan. And then, then they went, changed ownership then to, who picked them up then? Some of they changed hands in 72. And... All the while, Electrolux then purchased um, control of Husqvarna in '78, and then when uh, when Electrolux bought the, uh, the controlling company from Beard Poulan in '84, is that right? '78 Husqvarna, '88 yeah, was '84. So then, then there was a model change for Poulan, and then you'll notice then that lots of the Poulan models became Poulan Electrolux. And all the models after that tend to share very similar technology and fittings to some of the Husqvarna's, obviously. But before that date, they were Beard Poulan. And, okay. Integral throttle lock with the safety trigger, which is a really neat uh, design. Kill switch, gorgeous running engines. <laughs> set up beautiful home user garden saw and so these were introduced I think in uh, 76 or something like that and then 
they were discontinued about six years later although I say they're discontinued but then if you start looking at uh, Poulain Electrolux you'll notice that they do a a model I think it's the 1800 a 2000 a 23 CVA and they're all plays on this this same saw so although she was discontinued in one breath she actually lived on in another they're gorgeous cutting saws right ah and interesting as well guys today's trivia Husqvarna AB but what does the AB mean at the end of Husqvarna very very interesting so depress lift let go throttle lock on kill switch <laughs> Actually, I'm just a well when they're set up nicely it's just a beautiful running engine and so I think these weigh in at around the incredibly manageable around the four just over the four kilo mark which is so light and so for a home user they're just beautiful beautiful saws to use and if you if you love Dolmar saws as I do I have a few of the sisters out today um, throw some quite early the CC new that's the model 116 so some of you may or may not know that some of the early Dolmars 
have the same model, model designation as some of the later ones. So the CC New 87 CCs, 60s saw, also known as the 116. They also did a 117 and a 110, which is very interesting. The CA, also known as the 113. So of course the 116, the 117, the 113. There's all later designations for that. Um, what else have we got out? The 119. The beautiful 118, uh, 110. I was going to bring out a few of my other ones, but while I've been moving my storage around, I've been experimenting with removing the guide bars to see if I can stack them in a tighter spot. Wish I hadn't have done that now. <laughs> <laughs> something to do with the other 200 and something guide bars I have. That's just, it means tagging them and marking them. And sometimes you just don't want to do that on really nice original bars. Let me show this girl on a restart. Beautiful running engine. So kill switch down with the safety trigger up. Locks in place, choke on top. <laughs> Is that true? Are you going to stay in position or not? Wait. guys sorry for the lateness of the of the vid beautiful little sort amazing paintwork as well so considering 76 it's gonna make it what 40 40 up to 46 years old um, and if they discontinued in 82 they go 40 to 46 years old and just spectacular good to remember as well these run a pressurized oil system so I hope I catch on camera don't know if that noise came out you can just hear the pressure releasing so when you finish cutting with any of the pressurized tanks, if they use a positive, a positive pulse from the crankcase somewhere, pressurizing the oil tank, when you finish cutting, release the pressure on the oil cap. Otherwise you'll find it will obviously, until it balances out the pressure to atmospheric pressure, it will keep pumping out and then you'll end up with a, a puddle of oil underneath your saw. Guys, Again, it's always um, incredible, isn't it? With just the babyest saws as well. Oh, with just a couple of minutes, even with a, a 30, 32, 33cc, 1970s saw, you can have a bag of firewood, I mean a builder's bag of firewood in like five minutes. There she is then, the beautiful, beautiful 101 Hobby. AKA the XXV Micro. Bye for now, guys.